Live from Columbia, South Carolina, WIS News 10 starts now. I have a mantra today that I've been sharing with people, and it's from Winston Churchill. He said, when you're going through hell, keep going. Well, inspiring words there from state leaders today as we continue to work toward recovery in South Carolina following the incredible devastation left behind by Hurricane Helene. Hundreds of thousands of residents still in the dark, wondering when they can expect a sense of normalcy again. The number is steadily going down, but at this hour, more than 550,000 customers remain without power across the Palmetto State. And we've learned now that tomorrow, President Joe Biden will visit South and North Carolina in the wake of the devastation from Hurricane Helene brought across the Southeast region. Our State House reporter Mary Green has details following the governor's news conference today with South Carolina leaders this afternoon following the storm response and recovery. Governor Henry McMaster was tight lipped Tuesday afternoon when asked about the details of President Joe Biden's visit to South Carolina on Wednesday saying the White House should be the ones to release those details. Information the White House has put out since announcing the visit Tuesday afternoon is still limited. It says Biden will travel to both Carolinas on Wednesday, quote, engaging with first responders and state and local officials in South Carolina en route to North Carolina, where he'll take an aerial tour of damage in the western part of the state, receive briefings and greet first responders. McMaster says he plans on being in the upstate on Wednesday and didn't directly respond when asked if he'd like to meet with the president. The governor spoke with Biden on Monday, and McMaster said the federal response in South Carolina to Helene so far has been, quote, superb. He said that whatever we need to let him know, and we, we're, we're doing that. Also, Secretary Buttigieg called yesterday and, and said the same thing, and also uh, Dini Cresswell for FEMA has also called. So, and a number of the governors have called, so we're, we are, we're getting, getting assistance and we're asking for everything we need. Meanwhile, the FEMA officer coordinating assistance here in South Carolina says it's had more than 64,000 registrations for assistance so far and that it'll send out teams into neighborhoods to help more people with that. And he says FEMA vows to be here for a while as South Carolina gets through its response and recovery from Helene. Reporting in Lexington County, I'm Mary Green. Our thanks to Mary for that report. Mary, of course, will bring us more information from the governor's news conference coming up. Details about the ongoing dock worker strike ahead on WYS News at 6 as well.